Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The General Hospital spoilers for Monday, August 5th, predict that Jocelyn Jax will cry and crumble under the weight of everything that has happened. Although Jocelyn will regret not moving faster, Dex Heller will be certain that she did everything she could to save Christina Corinthos Davis and the baby. Meanwhile, Christina's trauma will offer Blaze, alias Allison Ali Rogers, a cause to rely on her mother, and she may have a breakthrough with Natalia Ramirez. Molly Lansing Davis will rush to the hospital as soon as she learns more about Christina's horrific incident. Molly will pester the medical professionals for information about Christina's condition and be concerned about the baby's survival as well. Of course, Molly will want to know how something like this happened, so she'll learn about Christina's confrontation with Ava Jerome and find a way to shift the responsibility onto Sonny Corinthos. While Molly attacks Sonny, TJ Ashford will rant during a conversation with Jordan Ashford. Although TJ won't have all the details, he will argue that whatever happened was her fault. Will TJ go so far as to blame the victim in this case, or will he discover Ava's involvement and hold her responsible? Sonny will promise that whoever did this to Christina will pay the consequences. Sonny will be furious enough as it is, but think how enraged he would be when he discovers Ava is accused of attacking his daughter. Dante Falconeri arrested Ava, so he'll question her more at the PCPD and punch holes in her story. On Monday's GH episode, Harrison Chase will encourage Trina Robinson to stay away from Ava for the time being. Trina will promise Chase that she will, and Chase will eventually ask whether there is any update on Christina's condition. Once Anna Devane appears, it appears that she will accept Trina's statement and try to figure out what's going on. Anna will want Trina's first-hand description of what she saw following Christina's tumble. Trina will admit that she noticed Ava, who was looking down at the pool before closing the drapes. Although Ava will repeat her accident claims to Chase, he will have questions, as Dante did, because Ava's bogus story is now unraveling. Our forecasts indicate that Ava's situation is about to worsen significantly, and it is entirely her responsibility for arranging a fresh accident scene and lying about it. According to General Hospital spoilers, Scott Baldwin will have quite the mess to clean up once he finally checks his voicemail, so keep an eye out for his next legal action. As General Hospital continues to weave its intricate web of drama, this week promises more twists and turns that will have fans eagerly anticipating the next episode. Christina's health will deteriorate, Ava's legal problems will worsen, and Anna will step up her investigation into Trina. Let's go into the specifics of these riveting tale arcs. Christina Corinthos Davis, a beloved figure with a history of overcoming adversity, finds herself in a dangerous predicament. Her condition has quickly deteriorated, causing concern among her family members. Christina's mother, Alexis Davis, is beyond herself with worry, while her father, Sonny Corinthos, is dealing with the helplessness that comes with being unable to protect his daughter. Christina's situation remains rather mysterious. Speculations abound, ranging from a return of a past illness to a possible poisoning or other criminal conduct. Her symptoms have worsened, prompting her family and friends to make frantic efforts to find the best medical care available. This tragedy draws the Corinthos and Davis families together, revealing their unbreakable ties despite previous disagreements. As they rally around Christina, viewers are reminded of the depths of their bonds and the lengths they will go to save one of their own. The tension is evident as doctors work frantically to diagnose and cure Christina, yet, time is running out and the stakes have never been higher. Ava Jerome's life is a constant state of stress, and this week is no exception as her legal issues intensify. Already on shaky ground as a result of her previous conduct, Ava now faces additional allegations that threaten to deprive her of her freedom and custody of her daughter, Avery. The latest allegations against Ava are serious and might result in a hefty prison sentence. The court struggle is intense, with her attorney, Scott Baldwin, scrambling to find a way to defend her. Meanwhile, Sonny, who has always had a strained relationship with Ava, may exploit this chance to take full custody of Avery. Adding to her problems is the growing distrust of those around her. Ava's confidant, Nina Reeves, is divided between helping her friend and safeguarding her own interests. The rising strain is driving Ava to the limit, and her desperation is palpable as she considers dramatic steps to clear her name. 
During this upheaval, Ava's weakness is exposed. She is battling not just for her freedom, but also for her daughter's future. The legal proceedings are sure to be a battleground, with dramatic courtroom confrontations and frightening revelations that could transform Ava's life forever. This week, Anna Devane, the smart and tenacious investigator, will focus on Trina Robinson. Anna's instincts have been refined over years of solving complex cases, and she believes Trina may have important information concerning recent occurrences in Port Charles. Trina, a young lady facing her own set of issues, finds herself on the hot seat as Anna's questioning get more probing. Anna is keen to find out the truth, and her line of questioning indicates that she suspects Trina is either suppressing information or unintentionally involved in something greater. The interactions between Anna and Trina are fraught with tension. Trina's devotion to her friends and family affects her willingness to reveal information that could implicate those she cares about. Meanwhile, Anna's determination is driven by the need to defend the neighborhood and bring justice to light. Trina's relationship with significant figures in Port Charles, especially her mother, Portia Robinson, and her friends, makes her an important piece of the puzzle. As Anna looks deeper, viewers are left wondering what secrets Trina is hiding and how they will affect the overall story. These three main narratives aren't unfolding in isolation. Because Port Charles' inhabitants' lives are so intertwined, each development has an impact on others. Christina's health, Ava's legal challenges, and Anna's inquiry are all part of a broader story of intrigue and drama. The Corinthos family's struggle with Christina's health problem puts them on a collision course with Ava, as Sonny's determination to protect his children may clash with Ava's fight to keep custody of Avery. The legal and emotional concerns are linked, resulting in a multidimensional struggle with dramatic emotional scenes. Anna's inquiry into Trina adds an extra layer of intricacy. Trina's potential knowledge of Port Charles's undercurrents could influence the outcomes of Christina's and Ava's situations. As Anna searches for the truth, she may discover connections that might either heal or further fracture the community. As these plotlines develop, General Hospital continues to attract viewers with its mix of suspense, emotion, and character-driven drama. Christina's Fight for Survival Natalia Brings Blaze to Café Chic Natalia didn't mean to upset her by forcing her to leave the hospital, and she accepts that what she and Christina share is love. Blaze claims she is still unable to admit that they are in a relationship. Natalia says she's trying, so please help her understand. Natalia wants her to tell her about herself and Christina. Blaze tells her mother that they started seeing each other around Christmas, but she was afraid of being found out. It was not because of her fans, but of her family. She was terrified they would stop loving her, and her mother would not be the first to reject their gay kid. Natalia maintains she would never do that, but Blaze was unaware of this at the time. Blaze recalls holding hands with Christina in the plaza, but she yanked her hand away as they came across individuals they knew. She had no idea she had done it, but Christina called her out. She cries, saying she was so used to disguising who she was that she almost missed out on meeting Christina. Natalia feels sad that she had to go through it. She's also remorseful for how she reacted to her and Kristen. She realizes now how arrogant she was in blaming what occurred with Link for her pursuing a connection with another lady. She said she couldn't believe her daughter could have feelings for another lady since decent girls don't behave that way. Blaze inquires, does part of you still feel that way? Natalia agrees that it is difficult to unlearn something you have always believed to be correct. It's like attempting to learn to write with the other hand. Perhaps she should thank Ava for releasing the recording and putting her straight. Blaze weeps because Christina is so essential to her that she cannot bear the thought of losing her. Natalia believes they must have trust that Christina will make it through. Blaze praises her mother for listening and allowing her to explain. Blaze even claims that when her mother referred to Christina as her girlfriend, she did not cringe. Natalia says she's trying. Blaze says she is successful, so thank you. Jordan gives Blaze a call. Jordan informs her that Christina is fine, but she lost the baby. Jordan returns to the hospital and asks Dante if Ava is guilty for her grandchild's death. Dante claims he cannot comment on an active investigation, although she is aware of this, and he has even been advised to step aside from the matter. Molly apologizes to TJ for not being present and for being in court at the time. 
TJ claims she is not at blame and that even if she were present, nothing could have been done. TJ claims she is here now and that is all that matters. Molly screams, we had a baby girl and now she's gone. They embrace. Sonny goes to the roof to think. He returns to Dante, turns on him, and tells him he can no longer help him. He remembers Joss shouting out at him for everything he had done to Dex. He recalls Anna telling him that she could no longer ignore his concerns. Finally, he considers what Molly just told him, blaming him for what happened to Christina and the baby. Meanwhile, Alexis travels to see her kid. She embraces Christina, telling her she is sorry and that they will make it through this. The monitors suddenly start beeping, and Alexis pleads for aid. Sunny teeters on the ledge of the hospital roof at the next general hospital, telling someone, You aren't here, you are just my imagination. Blaze wants to accompany Christina in the ambulance, but she is unable to do so because she is not a family member. Joss says she's Christina's sister and will accompany her. Natalia leaves with Blaze for the hospital. Dante tries calling his father, but he does not answer. In her room, Ava phones Scott again and inquires as to his whereabouts. She tears, saying everything is coming apart and that she wants him to come to her chamber at the Metro Court. Ava keeps thinking about the argument and Christina fleeing out the window. She tells herself it was an accident and that she did not intend for it to happen. However, she understands that no one will believe her unless she helps them believe what she wants. In Sunny's office, he tells Lois that they should put this conversation on hold because he is very busy. Lois refuses since it jeopardizes her daughter's future. She wants to know if the money he has invested in this label is legitimate. He claims it is, so she demands on knowing where the money comes from. Lois says she loves him, but she has to watch out for her kid he offers to put her in touch with his accountant. Lois tells Sonny that she dislikes leaving things like this between them, but for the time being, it's the only way. Later, when Gio calls, Sonny takes up the phone. Gio explains that Dante has been attempting to contact him and there has been an accident at the Metro Court. He informs Sonny Christina that she has fallen out of a window and into the pool. At the pool, Chase encourages Dante to go to the hospital because he can handle it. Gio interrupts, telling Dante that he spoke with Sonny and is on his way to the hospital. Dante says his father will care for Christina, and he wants to know what occurred. Dante says they need to collect the hotel surveillance footage and get into that room. Dante notices that the curtains are closed, why didn't Christina grab them before exiting the window? Chase believes this suggests Christina was not alone, and the curtains were closed. Trina approaches Dante and Chase to speak with them. Later, she checks on Gio and tells him he should be proud of himself, especially since he has no medical expertise. Gio believes he should have known to go for the backboard without Joss telling him. Trina comments, thank goodness they had Joss. Gio isn't sure how this happened. Trina explains that Christina fell from Ava's room. He asks, your boss? She claims Ava is also her friend. Gio asks Trina how well she knows Ava. Trina admits that she may not know her at all. Trina acknowledges that Ava isn't a saint and has done some horrible things, but she's been a friend and mentor. Trina states that Ava has always had her back, and she believes she is more than her sins in the past. But maybe she was incorrect, and Ava is everything everyone says she is, if not worse. Brooklyn splashes water on her face in the ladies' room, remembering the disaster. Lois finds her daughter after hearing what happened and asks whether she's okay. Brooke Lynn informs her mother that Christina is the woman who fell into the pool. Lois is astonished, and Brooke Lynn tells her how fantastic Joss and Gio were in the heat of the moment. She also feels horrible about Blaze, who was losing her mind. Lois is concerned for Sonny, who previously stated that he was not in a good mood and that he, too, will go out of his mind when he finds out about this. Brooklyn questions why she was with Sunny. When Lois avoids the question, Brooklyn assumes they are referring to her. Lois reveals she had concerns about the source of Sunny's investment in the label, and she believes that not all of Sunny's revenue is real. Brooklyn cannot believe Sunny would use mob money to fund this label. Lois informs her daughter that she has a blind spot with Sunny. 
Brooklyn wishes she had shared her concerns with her rather than keeping them hidden. Brooklyn urges her mother to respect her and her judgment. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.